Okay guys, this is my workstation and what you see here is hot water, always have hot water next to you. You're going to need it to release um, gelatin from needles or you're going to need it to soften the gelatin in case it gets hard. Napkins, all kind of napkins, a melon baller, an empty bowl to check for pressure and depth some cold water and of course your gelatin now you're probably wondering why is it that i have these lines around the mold this is how the mold normally look as i have explained in my diy tutorial on my website www.artdgelatin.com the most important thing when creating 3d gelatin art is the space between each petal and the angle. For that, what I do is mark these lines like so all around the cup. This is my first guide. These lines will indicate my angles. I will now do the second line. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a guide. And my third line. Make sure to mark your mold before you fill it. Now, put your gelatin in and let it set. Once it's set, you're ready to go. I use this mold is by Doubt. This cover is by Solo. The reason that I use these two different companies is because they match and I get a good snap and a good airtight cover. Now, to the flower itself. I don't know if you've watched any of my previous videos, so I will start at the beginning. You mark a dot on a napkin, place the mold on top of the dot, making sure the dot is in the center of your mold, like so. Dip the melon baller in hot water. It's much easier than if you don't. Do not move this hand, just rotate the dish. Now rotate your hand. Take out the center and put it aside. You will need it for later. If you can see, it, is, it looks like looking through a broken glass. We need to smooth the surface. The way to smooth the surface is by, again, dipping the melon baller in hot water and making it smooth. Now it's like a mirror. We start by making pistols. I use these templates, well, which you can find on my website, or you can use your napkin draw a circle, place your mold on the circle, can you see it, can you see the circle, the inside circle, or use one of the templates, place it in the center, once you have your little circle, use a pointed needle, no blunt, a needle with a point, mark your circle, you mark the circle, now poke the gelatin, this much of the needle. Don't go any deeper. 
or your flower will need braces. Okay. Your center is now, oops. Need the camouflage. Okay. The center is now completed. Need to put a little bit more so it will be round. To make petals, align one of the petals of the join with the center of your chest. Place the mold at the center. Check for drip. Make sure you have a good flow. If it doesn't come out like so, you're going to need to dip it in the hot water for about 10 seconds. Check the drip again. Now, to create the petals, aim the tip of the tool to the first line, to this line. This, this will give you the correct space. This will give you the right angle. And since all we need is angle and spaces, that's the best way to achieve it. Aim the tip of the tool to the first line. Go in right where you finish the pistols, right from here. In, aim the tip to the first line, release color, and go out. Now rotate the dish. Make sure the pedal is in the center. Make sure the pistols are in the center. Again, aim the tip to the first line. Release color and eject, and you do so until you complete the circle. Now <clears throat> you will need to do it uh, three to five times. After three to five times, your eye hand coordination will get used to the angles and the spaces, and you may not use it, need it again. But if you do, you can just refer to the templates and the line and keep working and you keep doing it until the circle is completed in the tip of the tool to the first to the first line oops always have napkins handy or anything to wipe out excess <clears throat> again this is aligned and we're aiming to the first line and now the first layer is completed as you can see we were able to achieve almost perfect spacing and perfect angle as you can see they are all at the same angle for the second line we don't need the template anymore. We will aim the tip of the tool to the second line. And we will insert the tool in between two petals. Release color and eject again. Insert the tool in between two petals. Aim the tip of the tool to the second line. Rotate again, aim the tip to the second line, release color and eject. Repeat it until the circle 
is completed. The circle is now completed. I will wipe the excess so you can <clears throat> So I can turn it. If I was not about to turn it, I will just keep it and keep going. As you can see, we have perfect spaces in the second row, and the angle is the same. Very important. For the third row, as you can see, we have a bigger space than we had in the previous row. So now we will insert the tool, the tip of the tool into the third line, but now we will do it in a V shape, like so. And we will insert two petals in between each petal of the previous line. In a V shape, as you can see in the tip of the tool to the third line. Now you can make as many lines as you want. I will make another flower with four lines in just a bit so you can see. This flower is now completed. Now we can add the green to it, leaves. Don't forget to put this back. The reason that I am doing it so is because some of the colors may have a little aftertaste. So we don't want a big chunk of color in your mouth. It may be a little bitter. To make leaves, we'll just go in from the surface, not from the center. That can be a little messy, but we will release a little color and go out. Release a little color and go out. Same thing. flower is now completed. Okay. I will clean the surface. Now you can use any sponge or napkin or whatever you want. I'm just doing this to show off. This is my flower. Much easier to see. I will release it from the mold. Seeing the complete flower with these lines is a little hard. So, to release the flower from the mold, dip it in hot water for 10 seconds and go out. At this point, it should be released very easy. And this is the completed flower. I will demonstrate now a flower with four lines. So bear with me. And then we bring in another template. Let's return this to the mold. And keep working. For this Gubia, I chose this template. Now I have four lines, okay? I'm gonna place, okay, make a dot. 
find the center. Dip the melon ball in hot water. Take out the center by rotating the dish. Now rotate your hand to release the center. The center is released, put it aside. Remember, we're gonna need it for later. Dip the melon baller in hot water again. Smooth out the surface. Okay. Mark the circle with a pointed needle. Okay. We have a small circle at 90 degrees. We can expand it by just tilting our hand like so. If you will, if we go with the needle like so and keep rotating it, we will open the pistols. The needle has to go in in the center, not on the side. We're going to need the sides for the pedals. So only for the center, only from the center. Okay. Once I try to do it two to three times, two to three circles. Okay. Open the pistols a little. If you want it bigger, just have them go in with the needle a little longer. Anyway, now I'm ready for my next project. Check for pressure. Now, this was done on purpose. As you can see, I cannot release any color. That means that I have gelatin stuck in my tool. In order to release it, I'll just take hot water and push it out. Now it's released. Uh, it could be gelatin, it could be soap. Um, that's the way to do it. Now check at the pressure again, and you see a perfect flow. And again. Oop. Now this is a messy job. Nothing we can do about it. Aim the tip of the knee. First of all, align, like I said, one of the petals with the center of your chest. Place the mold in the center. Aim the tip of the needle to the first line. My hands are sticky from the gelatin, so let me wash it. Okay. Okay. To the first line, go in. Now move to the right, and again, aim to the first line, move to the right, and again, aim to the first one, move to the right. This is going to be a busy flower. The reason that I chose it, so you can remember the mantra, aim the tip of the tool to the first line. Aim the tip of the tool to the first line, eject color, and, and go out. Tip of the tool to the first line. Make sure it's centered. And you keep going until the circle is completed. Okay?
Okay, and one more. Okay, let me take out this color so I can show you. In itself, this is a perfect flower. Basically, you don't really need to continue, but if you want to make a 3D effect. Now, what happened here is I have touched the mold. Since I've touched the mold, the color kind of spread outside the mold. And it happens. That's a boo-boo. And um, hopefully no one will notice. Now for the second line, we don't need this anymore and we will aim the tip of the needle to the second line and we will go in between each petal to the second line, okay? In between each petal, okay? Go in in between each petal. Aim to the second line. Okay. The second line is, is completed. For the third line, we will do it again. And fourth line, same thing. Like I said, I'm taking the axis out so you can see the end result. Otherwise, I will just leave it in and keep going. And I will do it for the third and fourth line. As you can see, we have a perfect row for the second line. Now we'll go to the third line and again, in between each petal, into the third line. I don't know the name of the flower, but what I do is I look for real flower, I match one of my tools with the petal, and I make the flower. I have a lot of pictures of real flowers and the tools that you can use on my Facebook page. So please look me out, out the gelatin on Facebook. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Again, <coughs> for the fourth line, aim the tip of the tool to the fourth line in between the petals. This is gonna be a beautiful flower. Don't you just love it? It is so easy this way. And you don't have to mess with the end result. It may take five to ten practices to achieve eye-hand coordination where you don't need the lines anymore. But in the beginning, I find it extremely helpful. I have now completed the second, the, the fourth line. I will clear all the gelatin, the axis. Now, of course, you can just spill it and then clean it, but you know, it's up to you. The flower is now completed. I will release from the mold in a second. Now, here is where I've touched the mold again, and here is where I've touched the mold. So you want to avoid that. Do not touch the mold when you're making the flowers. Now, in the previous flowers, I showed you how I'm making uh, the leaves. For this one, I will just make grass. To make grass, you just use a pointed needle, a needle with a point, 
check for pressure, check for drip, and just go, just like how you did the pistols, you go in, like so. Rotate the dish. The working hand, just go in and out. And all I do is rotate the dish. Like so. Now you can put as much or as little grass as you want. And don't forget to put this back again. To release from the mold, dip in the hot water for about 10 seconds. Now the flower is completed. Since I have touched the mold, you see some of the color kind of went up. We have to clean it. With hot water, you can use a spoon and the flower is completed. Please visit my website www.artigelatine.com Also, Art the Gelatine on Facebook. I promise you're going to like it. Thank you everyone.